<laughs> All right, there we go. Another fantastic uh, show. The uh, fabulous Minka. In, uh, you've, uh, you've heard me talk about her for uh, months, and now she's uh, here in the flesh. Uh, thank you, Minka, for coming up. You are uh, you're what, Minka? You are the... You are the... Minka. <laughs> Minka, the... The Minka, the what? Minka, the number... One. Minka, the... Number one, Asian, big, fast... No, no, no. Boo. Boo? I know. Come on. Come on. Let's string it all together. One, two, three. You are Minka, the... Minka, the... <laughs> what? Number one. <laughs> number one. Big Asian. No, 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 no. Number one Asian big boob queen. Ready? Go. Uh, Minka, uh, number one. Uh, Asian big boob girl. No, queen. Queen. queen, queen, queen. queen, oh, queen one more time. Queen. One more time. Right. Eight. You're Minka, the number one Asian big boob queen. Ready? Go. Minka, number one Asian big boob queen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not easy, okay? No, you are not. But uh, we finished the show. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Drew, uh, did Minka disappoint? Charming. Yeah, um, is she quaint? Yeah. Would you love to bring her home? Yeah. To your wife? <laughs> Get your ass kicked. <laughs> All right, that is it. Uh, www.minkatriplex.com. Thanks a lot, Minka. Thank you. And until next time, Santa Pro for Dr. Drew saying mahalo. Robert, who is uh, 13 and calling from uh, New Mexico. Robert. All right. mm-hmm. Robert's Wait. gone. Should be awake. He's only been on hold for uh, nine and a half minutes. Okay. Or maybe he's not responding to his fake name. I'm here. Oh, there he is. That was Robert. Okay. Hey, Robert. Hi. Hey, you th- call like in five minutes. You're 13, what? Can you call like in five minutes? You want me to call you back? Yeah. All right, buddy. Uh, on the house phone, you want me to call you in the car? Like in five minutes. Are you on your cell or are you on the house phone? Um, on your cell. On your cell? Yeah. All right, I'll ring you up. I'm just okay. going to do one ring and hang up, and then I'll call back so you know it's me, all right? Okay. All right, buddy. Yeah. All right, I'll talk to you in five. Okay. Tight five, though, right? Not ten. Tight five? Yeah. Talk to you in five. Yeah. All right, Bobby. Thanks. Take care, buddy. One ring. One ring code. All right. Ouch. I right, said so we're going to call, uh... <laughs> call him back. I'm, I'm guessing his dad walked in the room and there was some code going on there, right? Yeah, I don't know. What was that? Well, we didn't call him in the first place. No, so it was Calling him code. back wouldn't, wouldn't be an option. Right. All right. Oh. All right, well, uh, his dad will go to sleep and uh, or pass out. And uh, then he'll uh, ring us back. Number five. Well, an oldie but a goodie, ranchero music. I'm tired of being so culturally sensitive. Everyone has to pretend like everything is good. Hey, uh, Germany decided to kill Jews. Is that just their thing? Should we just get out of the way or can we judge? The parts of Africa where they like to mutilate young women's vaginas. Is that just their thing? Should we just get out of the way or can we judge? Ranchero music, everybody. I live in Southern California and I've had an impacted ass full of this horrible accordion-driven music, if you can call it that. Yes, I work construction. Yes, Ozzy has his piped into my house 24-7. And it is made to annoy. I know what's going on. You see, Whitey, you don't understand. You go back, you put on your Birkenstocks, and you head back to your alternative lifestyle and your Prius to your life partner over there in the People's Republic of Santa Monica, and you don't know what's going on. I know what's going on. They're trying to drive us off our land. Because eventually we're all just going to get so full of this ranchero music. It's going to be like this. It's going to be like, hey, play that ranchero music. Come on, play more of it. We're going to be standing around and I'm going to go, hey, uh, we could finish that cinder block wall or we could just pack it up and go to Canada. What do you say? Let's go. Pack up the wagon. Let's go to Canada. That's it. They're trying to drive us off our land with the world's dumbest music. And I'm the proud father of twins. And the whole time the kids were in Mama, all I heard was play classical music for them. Why? Why do you play the kids classical music? Oh, because somebody's done tests and it turns out it makes them smarter. Okay, fine. If there's music that can make you smarter, well, isn't there music that can make you dumb? Right. So I'm going to ask you guys a quick question. One of these cultures has a space program. 
The other has a space shuttle shaped as a donkey. Hmm. Who invented the rocket? Stupid guys. The number one thing they want to do, they want to start up a t-shirt company. Because they got ideas. They got ideas that need to go on t-shirts. Clothing, t-shirts. Right. I don't know what it is, but that does not does not exclude anyone in society from doing it. Mm-hmm. And they always dream about this. I got a clothing line, man. I got an idea, man. I got shoes, special shoes that I'm going to market to pool players. <laughs> it's one of the things, too. They invent something that doesn't really need anything. Yeah, can't the guy just wear tennis shoes or loafers? No, no, these are different. The pad goes up on the, you know. Buggery boots. <laughs> yeah. 